Welcome at part 4 of building a house in Thailand. We've been building for quite some time now. Most of the work is done. But, as the saying goes, the last bits are the hardest. All the tiled surfaces are now being finished with grout. And as usual, everybody helps. The hardwood door poles are being glued into place with construction glue. In the kitchen it's time to place all drawers and doors. The hinges simply snap into place. And so do the doors. The worktop is cut out of marble. With the work top in place, now we can put the tiles on the wall. One of the last jobs is to put handles on all the drawers and doors. The doors have to be cut and shaved to fit snugly in their frames.
Sensitive people, please look away. And now it's time to bring in some heavy equipment. Well, maybe not that heavy. All we need to do is dig some trenches for electrical cables and water pipes. How to put an electrical cable inside a 100 meter long underground pipe. You blow it! This is a door and the door was slightly too high so we marked it and we cut it because there's a big piece here that's the bottom of the door but you know this is Thailand and doors are not what you expect them to be hmm. the secret hiding place apparently so, luckily we have an old window of hardwood, which happens to fit exactly in there. So we're going to fill this with hardwood and build our own door.
Who needs a Makita when you have fast forward? Our carpenter decided, for whatever reason, to make the inside of the, you know, these things, non-removable. All he did was cut slits for the glass, but he didn't think of the fact that you can then not put glass in there, because glass cannot be folded or bent. So now we have to cut all these away by hand. One of the most dangerous tools available in Thailand, the unprotected circular saw. 1,600 little pieces of wood. It took us a week to remove all 1600 glass beads. But after a week of struggling, finally the glass man could come to do his job. The pieces of glass are firmly pushed into a bed of silicone, making a properly waterproof window. After the silicone has fully cured, the excessive amount is cut away on the outside. All we have to do now is figure out how to replace those 1600 pieces of glass beads. In a country as warm as Thailand, even your carport and terrace roof have to be insulated. To install those large and heavy fiber cement panels, we hire a group of people who do that for a living. Finally, it's time to paint the entire outside of the house.
Rain gutters not only keep the side of your house clean during a rainstorm, they also have an important cosmetic function. They are the finishing touch of your roof line. It looks as if our house is almost finished, but in reality there are still hundreds of little jobs that need to be done. So this is by no means the last video in our series of building a house in Thailand.